Okay. Ooh. So, where do you think we're good? You're good. Anything? We are recording. Uh, anything? The microphone can hear us. Is the green light on? The green light is on. Green light is on. Green light is on. Okay. Cool. All right. So. Oh shit. We're good. As the cameras. We're good. Rolling. You're good. We're ready. We're good. We're awesome. What's up, Jamie? Thanks for uh, joining me for our Martini Monday. Is this like a new podcast? <laughs> I thing appreciate going. it. Whatever I can do to get a new cocktail uh, in my system. I'm glad that I'm here. When I saw the invite, I was very Cheers. excited that this was involved. Cheers to that. So, I mean, the original conversation started as we're doing, we needed to do a visitation for our Latip group. So I'm like, fuck it, let's get Abby behind the camera, have lunch. Abby's got her lunch over there too, her chicken fingers and fries. Um, and let's come, you know, to Simply Greek. Thank you, Theo, uh, for my spinach salad with grilled shrimp and my dirty martini and uh Jamie, you got a, a <laughs> looks rice like a bowl mountain of rice of, uh, i see some spinach uh some grape leaves um i don't know what else you have in there all the good stuff feta good tomatoes stuff. it's just like an upside down rice bowl i feel like she's gonna go to a crossfit class as soon as we leave here because you know <laughs> she's ready to get her ready to get her fit on but listen we really needed to talk <clears throat> about the real estate market and what better way to do it than to do it on camera and get like a good cool local update because I also want to talk about the insurance marketplace and how things are changing in Monmouth County and locally and statewide and nationally but like tying it into the whole real estate market I think is huge because people are confused right yeah buyers and sellers are both totally confused as to what to do when it comes to their residential or even commercial real estate but we're gonna focus on the residential stuff right now and look at some of the data for where Monmouth County is on home sales, home purchases, and where things have come, where things are going, and really talk about why it's still always a good time to buy real estate, um, whether you like it or not, not headlines tell you otherwise. <laughs> so what's going on in Monmouth County right now? Where, you know, give me a little market report. Yeah, so, you know, just just like Aaron said, you know, it really always is a, a good time to buy. You know, there's always going to be a market for someone. Um, obviously, someone always has to sell, whether it's, uh, you know, a death in the family, upsize, downsize, relocation. Uh, so what we're finding right now is because it's so volatile right now, um, you know, it really is going town for town. So I pulled some stats before, like, for example, uh, Monmouth Beach last year this time, it was five days on market. Now it's 45 days on market. It's insane, That's Mammoth an eight hundred percent increase. Lower your prices. <laughs> But with Middletown, because the prices vary and it caters to even more first-time home buyers all the way up to luxury, um, you know, we're actually seeing a decline on the days on market. So instead of 32 days on market, we're now seeing 22. Um, you know, sellers are a little bit unrealistic with their prices, so that's kind of why it <laughs> makes sense to uh, work with a professional to kind of understand and how to strategize moving forward in the market. Um, you know, we are going to see about a 10% decline, you know, this coming year, um, but just the inventory being so low is kind of what's staying afloat. Right. Even though we've had a drop significantly this year, uh, you know, we still are seeing multiple offers and things sell for market value if it's priced correctly. So are you seeing more inventory coming to market or inventory numbers are still staying low? Yeah, inventory numbers are still staying low. It's kind of the same thing of sellers just don't really know where to go, especially with the holidays right now. That doesn't that doesn't really help. Um, you know, I did pull a few stats before, and right now, uh, last year versus this year, we still kind of have the same amount of inventory. Okay. Um, you know, it's just sitting on the market longer now, and that's you know what we're going to be seeing as buyers are having a little bit more leverage now to exercise their rights and not have to jump on a house. You know, due to two to three percent interest rates. <laughs> I mean, the low interest rates are were great, right? High interest rates, wherever they are right now, are still lower than my first mortgage um, that I took out. And you can always refinance. Like, I love refinancing So on any real estate tier. So it's always easy to get into a house. As long as you can make the payments today, yep. you can benefit so much more tomorrow. And then you have upside to go along with it. But like you said, buyers have opportunities to actually buy a home instead of being pinned to a wall and screwed and just taking what they can get, and then all the issues come out later and are costing people so much money from things that they bought last year when they were just put up against a wall to have to purchase on a whim, which was just nuts. Like, yeah. we had somebody that had to uh, replace a roof after they bought it, like, oh, the roof is fine. I'm like, well, did you do an inspection? No, we waived all the inspection rights. 
and then they had to replace the roof like a month later, a ten thousand dollar expense that they never expected. Yeah. And it happened probably so many more times that I would ever know that people were just forced into situations and couldn't use better loan vehicles at the same time. Right now, you can get VA loans. You know, I sound like a mortgage professional. Sorry, Evan Beach. Um, you can get VA loans. You can get FHA loans. Like, there's so many different opportunities to create the mortgage that works for you in your individual case, especially if you're in that first-time home buyer uh, price range. Yeah, you know, right now is a great time to be creative with your financing as well. Um, you know, before we had to show 20% conventional and flip it as we were under contract, if they were even allowing us to do that before it even fell through. Um, you know, now we're actually exercising VA loans and FHA and, you know, getting 3.5% down. Um, you know, on top of that, the buyers that have been waiting it out for three years, or some are now choosing again to wait it out until interest rates, you know, lower, it's not really going to be smart or do them any, any better because right. we still have a buyer pool now on top of when they do decrease the interest rates, having even more buyers in the market. And still the problem is we have no inventory. Right. So we're kind of going to see that shift again. And that demand is still going to be there, even though appreciation is going to decline, you know, this year and, and, the, and the upcoming sure. year. Are we seeing prices coming down yet? Yeah, so we definitely are seeing, you know, prices coming down. Uh, you know, what, what we've been seeing now is from when the interest rate was, you know, 4% to now it was hitting 8%. Um, we're thankfully lower than that now. But, um, you know, we're kind of seeing you adjust your offer by 9%, which can be very significant, um, you know, for some price points. I mean, that's huge, right? So you don't have to go in over ask in most cases, right? So now you can come in maybe slightly under list price mm -hmm. because you also mentioned that you're seeing price changes yep. on all of these homes going out to market, right? So that's a significant factor is as things are sitting longer, the price is going to shift. In most cases, it's going to shift down. There are certain situations where prices are going up for whatever reason, but that 9% buffer is tremendous because that's going to give you the opportunity to inspect the home, make inspection recommendations to the seller, right? Yeah. And get things to, to shift. So in this whole game, insurance costs are also going to the roof. So working with your real estate professional and your mortgage professional, when they tie in your insurance professional, we want to make sure that the numbers all fit yeah. so you know where you're going with your, your insurance costs too. So you're looking at the total cost instead of just an estimate that you know, an internet-based lender is going to put out there that's really bad, especially in our coastal coastal markets, right? Yeah. Like, things are going a little bit crazy. We're going back to, like, 2011 when it comes to insurance and the availability of homeowners insurance. There's no shortage, but we're definitely starting to see a pullback along the coast in our immediate area of insurance companies wanting to do business here, which is going to make prices go up availability go down and kind of screw with people a little bit like they're seeing in Florida right now. Everybody that ran to Florida to buy a house is now going to get a 60%, 63% rate increase on their homeowner's insurance. That's significant. So if it was like already high at like four or 5,000 for a modest home, now that's going to be 7,500 for the same thing. So you go down and save on your income tax and, that's then, crazy. and then you get whacked on your homeowner's insurance. It's just totally, it's totally out of control. Yeah, I think it's also being prepared with that as well. Just like you said, tying in a lender, you know, that's why it's so important to get pre-approved before searching for a home and speaking with, um, you know, someone in insurance and, and understanding that as well, because you want to make sure that you can afford that monthly payment. And what does your comfortable monthly payment look like? And backtrack it to right. what are you actually looking at in the market? You know, you think you can can um, afford a certain amount, but at the end of the day, when you when you're actually going through the process and you see what that monthly payment is, I mean, that's when deals fall through, and we're seeing more deals fall through in these past two months than we have in the last three years because of financing. Right. I mean, it's good. if you got a good job, go buy a house. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing all the layoffs, I don't even want to get into the job report right now, but. Um, Things are wild in uh, in our whole eco economic system. Yeah. But if you all the experts still say that it's going to be, and it is a great time to continue to invest in real estate. And if you know what you're looking for, and you're working with the right people, yeah, you're going to find that opportunity, right? So if you're looking on the investment side, if you're looking for yourself. You have less to worry about because you just need to be able to afford to make the payment. 
and you're living there for the next five or ten, twenty years, you know, whatever it is, like, yeah. who cares what it is today? Because you're not selling it tomorrow. You're not selling it in a year or two years, right? The opportunity is really to get in and, you and know, create there. what makes sense for you, working with the right professionals in real estate and having that team around you with your attorney, title company, mortgage professional, home inspector, um, insurance guy, that's me, um, you know, is truly valuable. And working with Jamie and the Focus Real Estate Group really helps you put that team together around you. So you can focus on all the paperwork that you have to do, which is the best part <laughs> of buying a house, the amount of tax returns you have to sign over and, and all yeah. that stuff. Um, just getting all the mortgage work done is a pain in the butt. So you just need a good team behind you for, for everything. What else, what did we miss? What did we not talk about? I was gonna say anyone to, that says to wait it out is just honestly incorrect. Don't, um, wait, it don't, don't wait it out. I mean, what we're saying is just adjust your strategy. What right. is going to be your strategy now and how to navigate in the upcoming market? I mean, you know, flip it to sellers. You know, I'm having more conversations than this now than ever because, you know, they wanna sell but we need to make sure that we're ahead of the game for the next few weeks, months that we're going into because once you hit that 20, 30 days on market, you know, you as a seller lose all leverage. As a buyer, you know, you're gaining leverage by being able to negotiate offers and exercise your rights. So, you know, that's really important. Um, since September 1st of this year till now, so, you know, 45 days, every new listing that's going on the market, we're seeing 50% of them drop their price in the first two weeks. That's significant. I mean, that's exciting. <laughs> that is exciting. I wish I was in buyers. the market to buy something <laughs> exactly. right now. Exactly. I'd, be, I'd be looking for those price changes and, yeah. and, and be ready to uh, to pounce and, yeah. and, and go 10% less than that on uh, on on my offer and, and see what we can get. So. Yeah. But that's not to say that we aren't seeing we aren't not seeing multiple offers either if they're priced correctly. So, you know, all in all, just kind of what we were saying is working with professionals to make sure that you're ahead of the game and un really understand your numbers is going to bring a lot of clarity of how to strategize to that goal. Your starting point is Jamie from Focus Real Estate Group, Keller Williams. Um, she's going to help you out in Monmouth County, Ocean County, Middlesex County, wherever she feels like going <laughs> to help you get your team put together because, again, you're going to yeah. need your mortgage pre-approval so you can really have a good understanding of what your numbers look like before you go pound the pavement and start looking for homes. Um, so definitely reach out to Jamie, get your bearings on what it looks like, what it can look like, what your opportunities can be. If a home needs a little bit of work, right? You can bring contractors in. You have time now mm -hmm. as a buyer and a seller in the real estate market to really get a good grip and get a good focus and a good understanding of exactly where you wanna be, where you wanna go, because you're not gonna be forced into doing anything. Even though inventory is low, there's opportunities abound to make sure you can do whatever you need to do. Yeah, absolutely. 100%, I appreciate that. And you know, again, like working with Aaron as well, understanding, you know, how much insurance is gonna cost, seeing if it makes sense to, you know, bundle certain insurances together to reduce that monthly payment is gonna be crucial. And speaking to a professional who actually understands that's really gonna help you out. I'm ready for lunch. Same. Cheers. You don't realize. Stimulate the proper